Welcome everyone again to the volunteer welcome call of Genoa. And um, I'm just gonna walk you a little bit through the, um, the agenda of today. So we have done a round of introduction, getting to know a little bit more about each other and to see how diverse and, and beautiful this circle is. And we'll continue by a short introduction of Genoa and of Genoa current priorities in activities. And afterwards, I will go briefly in uh, what is it, uh, what is it would be volunteering with us. And uh, the main uh, focus of today would be to share with you about the working circles that are alive in Genoa. And in this time, in this um, sharing section, you will get to hear more about what is going on in the working circles. You can choose one working circle that you can uh, you want to start with. Uh, and then we will have a breakout section within the working circles to get to know each other a little bit deeper. And then we'll close by uh, sharing what is next for uh, continuing your journey with Genoa. So that's the um, agenda for today. And uh, yeah, I would like to just uh, start by uh, acknowledging how beautiful it is that we are here in a diverse group with uh, many people outside of the the Ocean and Asia region as well. Some friends are from Europe, some are from Africa, and it is such a blessing for us to have you here. And uh, as the region of Asia and Oceania, we are blessed with a lot of uh, diverse in culture, in wisdom, and um, in uh, even regenerative practices. So. Um, that is something that we, we always want to remind ourselves while working in the Ecovillage Network. Um, so we are Genoa. It's short for the Global Ecovillage Network Ocean and Asia, and we are a branch of the GEN, the Global Ecovillage Network. Um, we, we work with uh, GEN and uh, other GEN regions to promote the Ecovillage lifestyle and Ecovillage space where everyone can live and work in a harmon harmonious way with nature, with dignity and integ integrity. And we really want to emphasize the three levels of connection, connection with oneself, with each other and with nature. And uh, on the screen you can see now it's the um, mission and values of Genoa. You can read uh, this in details when you go to Genoa website. Uh, but um, as in a nutshell, we have a mission of connecting, supporting, sharing, and promoting the eco village uh, and eco communities, uh, the eco practice in the region, especially for um, members of uh, Genoa Network, but also for anyone who are interested in embarking on the journey of eco-village living. And um, we value integrity, diversity, trust, service, participation, evolving, and oneness. And you will see this, um, you will be reminded about this as we go on uh, in our journey of working together. And, uh, as a structure of work, um, we are, as an organization, we are a network supported organization. So we exist to support the network of um, eco village and eco community in the region. So, as you can see on the screen, uh, the, the circle, uh, the, the biggest circle that embody us all is the network um, of eco village in the region. And we have a head circle, um, which is the circle that uh, hold the ideation and creation of uh, Genoa strategy and target, and it is called the council circle. And the core members of these circles are those who are in the network steward circle of Genoa, um, which uh, you have also heard from Amina, who is a member. And then there's the hot circle, which is the office or the operation circle that carry out critical function of Genoa, like admin, finance, networking, and communication. And then we have the hands, the project circle, which is projects that are initiated from within the network and uh, carry out projects that are related to regeneration, to different topics within generation. Um, and at the moment, we have one project that is uh, active, that it, uh, it's called Regeneration. 
and we'll talk about it a little bit more later. So um, just to show you the face of the Genoa team. So this is, uh, this is just a small group within Genoa, but this is the team that carry the day-to-day um, -day, uh, work and function. So you can see here, there's DJ, me, and Lydian that you met in the call who are in the Genoa office. And then you also met Amina uh, in this call as well. And there are two other network stewards um, in the middle, at the bottom here, it's Talea from New Zealand, and on the right is Karen from China, and they are also member of the Network Steward Circle of Genoa. So that's uh, that's the brief introduction of uh, what is Genoa and uh, what is our vision and mission. And of course, you can always read more about it. We have prepared for you a volunteer onboarding kit with. Uh, a lot more in-depth information and you can also read more on our website as well so uh, just to acknowledge that there are so many others members who are contributing a lot into the development of this ecovillage network and we are just a small team carrying out um, functions on a more uh, frequent basis uh, and now I would like to introduce my friend uh, Luvian to share with you a little bit deeper on what is the current priorities and activities that we are carrying out in Genoa. Okay. Thank you, Kim. Can you go over to the next slide, please? Yes, so for the current priorities, uh, for Genoa, we have four uh, priorities at the moment that we are trying to develop more in Genoa this year. First is to strengthen internal structures. And we'd like to, for example, like uh, build like uh, onboard volunteers like you all and build, build our operations become stronger by recruiting volunteers, creating systems of collaboration and enhancing communication flow. And also the next one, Kim, um, the screen please. Uh, the next one is the, thank you. The next one is strengthening the Genoa network. So this is uh, done primarily by the network stewards circle. And they are tending to the Genoa network by um, creating, uh, having monthly community calls and increasing communication between the members of the network. And then we are also, uh, and this year we would li really like to focus on creating financial sustainability, uh, mostly through fundraising and also income generation. Uh, this is uh, this is high in our priority at this uh, this year because uh, at the current state we are. Uh, um, next year, uh, so Genoa has been running from Gaia Trust funding for the past years, and we will be running out of it uh, next year. So this year, we are putting a, uh, we would like to put a lot of effort to establish uh, systems in which we can allow uh, funds to come in to uh, fund our operations. So. And the next one is our project, which is regenerations. Uh, so last year, if you, some of you might already know that we have already created, uh, we have, cre uh, we created this, we conducted this learning, online learning journey. It's kind of like a course that goes through the EDE for six months. And it's, uh, um, there were like 10 teams uh, and they, with that, and these 10 teams, we guide them through the different areas of regen regeneration from the ecology, culture, social, whole system design, and also economy. So uh, we have this one course that we would like to further develop so more people can, can benefit from it. So yeah, that's our current priorities this year. So now we'd like to open for some Q and A's if you, uh, if you have any questions at, up to this point that we, we can attempt to. Feel free to unmute and just ask if you have any question or you can also put them in the chat and we can read it out loud for you. Any 
Nina, if there's no question yet, we can, yeah, we can proceed. And then uh, if any question comes later, just feel free to drop them in the chat and we'll address it, yeah. So that's, uh, that's a very uh, quick uh, introduction of Genoa and what is the current priorities of activities for Genoa. And uh, later when we talk about working circles, you will see a little bit more in depth about the activities. Um, so I would like to share now about our um, being our volunteers. So I am the networking coordinator of Genoa and also the one who will work uh, extensively with our volunteers. But later um, you will be able to choose the working circles that you would like to engage with. And then the members of our team who are in the working circle would be the one that work with you closely. Uh, of course, I want to be there to support whenever you need. So uh, as you might already see on the um, call for volunteer, we have um, this volunteer role that is a remote role where, um, of course, you will work from home and it will be mostly working you know, your own time with the schedule that you set up for yourself. But there will be some online meetings um, with the working groups or online meetings when you need. Uh, if you need support or you need um, a one on one section with someone that's also possible. And uh, since this is a virtual role, you can decide your schedule and the time that you're able to give. But uh, we have estimated that the, um, the working time would be from three to four hours per week. But we, we also realize that um, different volunteers have different uh, time availability and commitment. So some people might be able to join with us more and some might join less. And that is something that we can always discuss and um, figure out with each other when you join your working group. And the period of volunteer we would suggest to be minimum two months and then uh, ongoing in these two months, and especially after the two months, we will sit down and uh, hear from you how your experience has been, if you want to move to a different working group, so how do you want to proceed with your experience in Genoa. And uh, one of the important um, things that we want to emphasize is that we would love it if uh, our volunteers can be aligned with the Genoa mission and our values. And that it's something that I um, shared from the beginning, but uh, you can always read more about it afterwards, after the call. And in Genoa, we have um, a guide of compassionate communication. It's about how we communicate among the team as a group. Uh, how do we address uh, conflicts? How do we um, bring up our opinions? And um, how do we resolve the uh, different opinions or conflict that arise within the, the online working. So we have a guide about it and we invite everyone to practice this compassionate communication so that the work can be flowy, but also we will develop meaningful uh, relationships within the team. And um, for the benefits of volunteers, well, I know that uh, you are not here for the benefits. Uh, probably not those that are listed on this uh, slide, but uh, I would love to share with you still, since um, a lot of you are new to Gen and Genoa, the, this working opportunity would be a great way for you to know, to understand Gen and Genoa from inside out. So what's the network is about, how does it function, and how can you be uh, involved more in the network? Um, that's something that you won't be able to discover. And then we will get also to know you so we can develop more long lasting relationship with you. And maybe we can develop something even other than what's already on the table. We can think of like um, programs, projects, um, workshops that we can do together. Um, also, you will see that we have a team of really passionate beings that would love to contribute into um, bringing people and nature closer together, bringing healing to the earth. And um, we also have a lot of uh, a, a very big network of elders, of wisdom keepers in Genoa that have rich experience and wisdom in the field of um, eco-village building uh, in different areas from social to cultural to ecology. And that is something that 
I find myself gaining a lot learning from the network of Genoa. And uh, as a more concrete offer, we, uh, we can offer you a um, free workshop organized by Genoa and also um, the access to Genoa course on the Gen Learning platform. And uh, occasionally Genoa also receive uh, voucher and scholarships to different programs that run by our partners and volunteers will also be the first one to receive these benefits. And uh, of course, uh, what stays at the end, I think it's really to have the space to um, explore and practice what you are passionate about. So that's why we want to develop with volunteers where you would like to work and what, how you would like to work with us so that it's really benefits you the most. So that's uh, the benefits uh, or what we can offer to you as volunteers. Um, I would like to check if there's any question up to this point. If not, super. Um, yeah, just know that you can always drop your question in the chat later or ask me after. So um, that was a brief section of getting to know about Genoa and um, about what we're working on. Now we're gonna move to the next part of the call, which is the working circles. So um, as you know, we are running um, multiple working circles in Genoa and uh, you can choose one of these working circles to be your first uh, project with Genoa. I would invite you to choose one first uh, and then maybe explore later if you feel like, well, I can work in multiple working circles at a time. That's, that's terrific but then uh, we will explore together after. So I would invite you to just start with one first and see how it goes. And in order to support you to choose the working circles that would fit you the most, we, uh, we would like to do a round of sharing of what's in it in each working circle, what is happening in the working circle. Um, so there will be a quick introduction round from the members of Genoa about each working circle. And then after that, that there will be a breakout group section where you get to choose which working circle you want to hear more about. Then we will break into four rooms and then in the rooms you will get more space and time to um, um, talk deeply about the uh, work that you're interested in. Uh, before that I saw some questions pop up in the chat so I'm just going to address it quickly. Um, is it possible to visit a nearest recognized Ecovillage to get a real feel and insight to Ecovillage community? This is a great, great uh, idea, Harry. I think we would love to support you to visit Ecovillages uh, who are in the network of Gen, and we highly encourage you to do so because um, I think reading about Ecovillages would not um, be as good as you be there and experience the life of Ecovillage. I think um, among us, a lot of people among us already have been or like Hongyi are on the trips of visiting eco-villages. So yes, that is possible and we can try our best to support you. Um, and the level of support we can give, it's uh, something that we can discuss also later, uh, depending on which community you want, to, uh, you want to visit. Yeah, and how close it is uh, to you. And then there's a question from Olomide to me, is it possible to come to uh, Asia and Oceania to volunteer? Well, that, that is something that is possible, but maybe in a longer term, as you know, uh, at the moment, all the travel um, restrictions are still preventing us from having in-person gatherings. So in the past, we have been having in-person course like the Eco Village Design Education course and the gathering, the Genoa gathering in person where we meet at one location and then have a few days spending with each other. And usually that location is an eco community or an eco village. But uh, due to COVID, uh, we haven't been able to do that since 2019, since, yeah, 2019, 2020. But we hope that, um, yeah, once, um, international travels are becoming uh, coming back, we can uh, do that again. But uh, at the moment, I have to say that our work is mostly would be online based virtually. Okay, so I hope that uh, I have answered your question well. And let's go to the working group. 
so today we're going to share with you about six working groups that are most active and most urgent in Genoa at the moment. The first one, it's on finance and admin. The second one, it's networking. And then there's regeneration, which is our education project. There's communication, fundraising, and there's the website. So the website, it's supporting for the other aspect. Uh, it's sitting alone now, but later when you go in the group, the website and communication will go together and regeneration and networking will go together. And there are also, as you can see, when you receive Richard register in the volunteer form, there are some other bullets that you can uh, tick like storytelling or research, but these are the activities that can be included within these working circles. So that's why we're not having them as separate um, areas. So um, now I would like to invite our members who will share quickly about this working circle for you so that you can make a decision which working circle you want to go into the breakout room with. Uh, let's start with um, finance and admin. Yeah, I would invite DJ. Wonderful, thank you, Ken. Um, so as you would assume, finance and admin is exactly what it sounds like. Um, We'll be doing a lot of accounts, uh, maintaining uh, the regular accounts of Genoa, um, sometimes helping out with project budgeting. We are also doing our annual budget, a uh, little bit of reporting. Um, and on the administration side, I feel like it's quite dynamic. It really depends on where Genoa is as an organization. So it could be uh, at different times um, drafting um, role descriptions or maybe some new processes or procedures. So it kind of has, or it gives you a complete overview of uh, how the, the back end overview of how the organization is running. I will pass on to which one, Ken? Communications? I think next is communication, yeah. Communication, Lugian. Oh, hi, thanks, DJ. Um, Ken, can you show it? Help me show the slide. Yeah, for communications, uh, we are uh, we have a uh, few main activities uh, that are for first is managing our social media accounts. So we have Facebook, Instagram, and we're also looking to, to have some uh, a YouTube channel this year and also LinkedIn page. So tending to these accounts, like, like uh, posting contents and engaging with subscribers and followers and all of, all of that social media stuff. And then we also have other, other communication channels, which are uh, newsletters. So in Genoa, we, have, uh, we publish a monthly newsletters. So every, we will have like different stories that come from the network and we will feature them in the newsletter, share our updates of the month and share our highlights of the month and also some promotional materials from the network members. And then other channels will be the website, uh, which we just recently have. Um, so we will also work to develop the website further, making sure that all of the information is online, make, trying to develop the visuals uh, a little bit better. Recently, we after launching the uh, website, we have received some feedbacks on how to improve the website. So we'd like to, we'd like to make that happen with the, with the website. So, and then the other is the Facebook group. So in this Facebook group, we have in, uh, we have, um, we will also create a group, uh, a community of people. So this Facebook group, we would like to really engage people more and build a community of people. So next will be the content creation. Uh, this year we'd like to create more contents and resources for our audience to, to enjoy and to benefit from. Uh, these contents can be in articles and video forms, infographics, and also maybe podcasts. So for this year, we'd really like to uh, focus on articles and videos and and yeah, and the next will be graphic design, creating visual presentations, uh, making uh, creating templates for people to use in the social uh, for us to use in the social 
media and also some illustration and infographics. So that's communication. And now I'm passing to you, back to you, Ken, networking. Thank you, Lubian. Um, I'm sorry if we are going a little bit fast. So let us know if uh, you need us to slow down, yeah? Um, so after admins and finance and then uh, communication, now it's networking. So networking basically just what it sounds like. Uh, so we will manage the database of the network of who are joining the um, Genoa network on Gen database as eco-village, eco-projects, eco-communities, but we also engage with individuals who are interested or supporting the uh, network. Um, and a lot of them are Gen ambassadors. Um, also, we are engaging with the national networks. So within Genoa, we have a few registered national networks like Gen Australia, Gen Japan, Gen China, and Next Gen Korea. And we also have emerging national networks like uh, Gen India that, uh, and Gen New Zealand that might be established very soon. We also work with Gen International uh, and with other Gen regions on behalf of Genoa. And there's Next Gen that is the youth body of Gen as well. And the last uh, target group of the networking team would be the partners. So there are a lot of other networks, organization that working on similar topics also to promote regeneration that we are working with and engaging them in our activities and projects. So that's quickly about networking. And since um, I'm uh, in charge of regeneration, so I'll share about it, regeneration as well. So um, uh, this is our educational project that Lugin also mentioned at the beginning. So last year we did a six month course that is an online course uh, with 16, 16 teams uh, from the region, each team having from two to five members. And this year, we're going to continue develop regeneration a little bit more. And this time, we plan to develop it into a self-paced course. So last year, the course was live, meaning every section is live and the participant has to be there. But this year, we're going to do it as a self-paced course like any other online course you will see on Coursera, for example. And we also will tailor the uh, content a little bit more, learning from what we have done last year. So uh, that's the education project that we have. Um, and I think the last working group is fundraising. And uh, I would love to invite Amina to share about fundraising. Thank you, Kim. Um, so the fundraising circle in Genoa is actually our newest and the baby of Genoa. As Luvian had shared with you earlier that up till now, this year, Genoa as a region of Gen International was funded by Gaia Trust. So we were very donor-based getting you know, donations once a year from Gaia Trust, which we were using for our projects and all our other internal costs. And going forward from 2022, we need to become financially self-reliant. So that's why this is also a, a key priority this year. And uh, the main focus for me, uh, you know, looking at this circle will, will be like growing a garden of abundance. And so we will start by preparing a garden plan, a strategy, how we're going to do this together and gather all the elements. And then we will prepare the soil, uh, plant the seeds. Preparing of the soil will be more like doing all the research work and bringing in the ingredients for contacts that we will connect with. We will plant seeds by tapping into events and campaigns. We will work very closely with the Gen International um, uh, fundraising team and our fundraising director. And then finally, we will, if you all continue to carry on with us till the end of the year, beginning of next year, there will be a harvest where we will look at, uh, you know, what we've raised and what we'll do with that money. How do we build donor relationships? How do we um, uh, communicate with them in terms of um, maintaining those relationships? So I think it's going to be a very fun fundraising journey and we'll all learn together and we'll all grow together and we'll all enjoy the fruits together. So that's from me. Thank you. And uh, lastly, I just want to share the next steps for volunteers so what would be next after this call just gonna 
open my share screen. Here you go. So after the call, um, we would send you an invitation to join the Genoa community call on July 20th. This is one of our monthly community call that is hosted by our Network Steward Circle. So the call will be for a space for you to hear the updates about Gen Genoa, but also it's a space to connect with other members of the network, with people from Eco, Eco Village, Eco Community, and we also uh, want to dedicate a part of this community call for our website launch. Uh, so you will be invited. And if you have time, uh, it would be great if you can join us. And secondly, I will be sending out the volunteer onboarding kit. Some of you already received it before this call. And I would love it if you can spend some time exploring this onboarding kit and feel free to come back to me for any questions you have after, um, after reading all of the materials in here. So in this onboarding kit, I have prepared some materials for you to get to know Jen and Genoa a little bit better. And um, next is that uh, after all of these, or even right after today, you can confirm your working circle that you want to join. And we also will record the, the uh, decision that you have put in the chat. And then in each of these uh, working circle, we the member of the Genoa team will continue to onboard you to share with you what are the tasks that you can join immediately or what is and or what are any other information that you should know before starting working with us. Uh, the first uh, next step is to join our Slack channel. So now I don't know if uh, you are all familiar to Slack but uh, we use Slack as our main uh, working space. So you will get an invitation to your email to join our Slack channel. And this is, it's like a Facebook group, if you're familiar to Facebook group where you can post your discussion, you can have like comment into one discussion, or you can also share videos, share files. So uh, we find Slack to be a very useful working space. That's why we are using it. So if you are new to Slack, we can also send you um, an, a kind of like tutorial material of how to use Slack. And uh, we would love to, yeah, to have you to try working on Slack with us. Uh, next is uh, we are launching our website. It's uh, very new. So feel free to have a look on our website and give us any feedback, um, any thoughts, any recommendations that you have. The website is at genoaecovillage.org and I will also send you this information after the call today. And lastly, if you have any questions, anything that comes up, uh, any requests as well, feel free to come to me. Um, my email is on the screen, but you can also will, uh, you will also receive an email from me after today. So feel free to reach out to me at any time. I'm available also on WhatsApp and on Telegram if you need. So that's the next step. And um, thank you so much for your participation today. Thanks for choosing to volunteer with us. And uh, I hope that we will have a wonderful co-learning journey together. <laughs>